Wow, unbelievable difference from the standard to the Performance 2.0. Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson. We're at a test facility in Southern California. I'm here with Mike Kim, head shock tuner for Fox Racing. Can you run down exactly what we're going to be driving today? So basically we have a little bit taller lift. So I think it's about a two inch lift. We got a little bit bigger tire. It's about a 33 inch tall tire. And obviously we have our 2.0 performance series uh, shocks on it as well. Uh, biggest difference, I think, in my opinion, is, is the 2.0 performance series shocks. Just in this gravel, first thing you notice, it's more quiet. More quiet, it's more comfortable. So now we're about 15 miles an hour last time through the slalom. Right now, we're up to 25. Notice that we're not getting thrown side to side. Now, explain a little bit the side to side. What, what, what's, what's affecting that? So the side to side, the, the dampening in the shocks, you have some low speed dampening in there, and it's actually controlling the chassis movement. So now as we pull down onto the course, we got the medium sized bumps. As I said, we were going about 10 miles an hour right now. We're at 15, about 18 miles an hour. You feel a little bit of the bump. And now here comes our single telephone pole, like a speed bump on steroids. We feel it, we see it, but the wheels are right back on the ground. Yeah, it's just, it's a non-issue. You didn't have the strike through like we did before. Um, you, know, you don't have the unnecessary chassis movements. It, it's a controlled ride, but that actually makes it more comfortable. So now as we're going through here, we're about four miles an hour faster. You feel the chassis moving. You, you can almost hear the shocks a little bit, kind of the, you, you hear them working back and forth, but not loud at all. You, you feel that resistance of compression and rebound. Right, so it, it's, you know, again, it, it's control. And so by having that control, you're actually more comfortable. And naturally, you're gonna actually pick up speed through that kind of stuff. Well, and the noise. We're not getting, we're not getting that wah, 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 that, that resonating back and forth and back and forth, okay? So right now we're at 10 miles an hour as we're going through the, just the random bumps like you would find on any pothole down on any road and things like that. And once again, looking at our speed, we're about five mile an hour faster and we're that much more comfortable. So you're feeling, obviously you're feeling the terrain and the, moving the vehicle side to side, but it's not that abrupt and like someone shoving you or jarring you from side to side. So the comfort is, is massive. So for me, I have these same uh, shocks on my on my F-150. The same thing I was looking for. I'm not looking to jump in, I'm not looking to race, but I'm looking to be comfortable, communicate on my phone, and do whatever because I'm on dirt roads quite a bit, either heading out to Soggy Dry Lake to do testing, or um, heading to Mexico to go racing and stuff like that. I'm not looking for a race truck, I'm looking for a comfortable driving truck off-road. Yeah, and that, that's what we see is that you're looking to have a more controlled, uh, comfortable ride going out to either get to their favorite camp spot or their fishing spot or whatever it is, uh, they want to actually be able to get there in, in more comfort and not take all day doing it. Now going around there, we stayed on the inside and so explain that. We're coming around flat corners, but it also made it feel like it's on rails. What is the main controlling factor there? Um, basically the shock is doing its job and is keeping the wheels on the ground. So instead of letting the, the tire blow off and come off the ground, it's actually controlling that. And so with enough low speed valving, it's actually controlling the chassis movement. So it feels like uh, the chassis is more stable um, as you put it into the corner. So now we we're going through this in the standard vehicle. The, the vehicle was losing traction and I was like, I was trying to feel for the road. Now I'm, I can feel the road the whole time. And as I'm going through, it's less steering input because I'm not chasing, you know, chasing that the ground. All of a sudden I feel like I'm losing contact with the road. Like the wheels, it's almost like it's dribbling in basketball. Mm -hmm. Why is that? If you're not controlling the tire, uh, it's out of control and therefore the, the vehicle is going out of control. So what, as a driver, my comfort level uh, from sound, from feeling the ground, jumped up 100%. I feel, I feel that much more confident in the vehicle. As far as 
performance wise, my speeds went up a, a good 50 to 70% and I'm not trying. So that kind of gives you the, the speed and comfort that you're looking for, but I, I still don't feel like I'm racing. I feel like I'm driving a nice, solid vehicle. For what we put out uh, for off the shelf, uh, that's what we're looking for is comfort and control.